Decography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Yeah, good evening guys. Welcome back to the Cool Gravity Design Trainer. I believe we're doing great. Today, I will show you how you can design a 3D logo, customize 3D logo, and how you can present it on the markup using Photopea. Without wasting much of our time, let's get started. The first thing is to come to the shape, turn it to radius to be 100, then reposition it like this, then you position it well to the center. Give it a black color, then you copy. Go back to where the color is, turn it to white. Then you reduce the size, increase it again. You use it to just cut out some parts, just as this. Then we are going to merge the two together. Then you go to the erase color, then you cut out the part. After that, go back to your gallery, then you import this particular frame, a uh, shape. So after importing it, you rotate it a bit, then you position it just as perfect as this. After positioning it, then you can rotate very well just because of the right top. So after that, you lock the two. Go to the text area, the first test, type your brand name, Deco. I'm going to the font area where I want to select the kind of font type I want. So blogger sounds good. That's the font I want to use. If you follow come with your font, don't go to my font. Just go to normal PCLR font. You will find it there. Then you position it here. Copy and you type graphics just as this. Then you can reduce this a bit and have it positioned around here just as this. So you can now increase it a bit. So after that, the next thing that you are going to do after positioning that way is just make the three together and then you bring it down a bit and let it come out a bit just as this after that you go back to your gallery and you go to where you have this particular two shape being saved so me i want to crop these two why because the deco graphic is my brand name on youtube so i need to put a youtube icon Anybody who sees it here will be able to know my, my YouTube channel is the uh, Deco Graphics. So I will go back, import the WhatsApp, I mean, uh, 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 Instagram as well, because that's the same name I'm bearing there. So I have to reposition. After reposition, I'll position it, then have it, have it uh, placed around here. just position and place it here okay perfect we can increase this as well okay okay good we can increase and reposition then we can bring the uh, this three we can bring it down here okay so after that we can now reposition work so let me crop okay perfect recrop recrop okay then we can recrop this then have it positioned well so after this uh, has been done and uh, we are uh, uh, satisfied don't with, forget uh, to hit the subscribe the button and the bell icon area. and the next thing we can do is uh, is to just uh, merge all this together then you exclude the two icon now click on the texture then we locate uh, where we have uh, where we have our texture being used so for instance the texture we are going to use is this then you put it at the middle just crop it for the better result now enable the maintain ratio and then you increase this by 15 
so everything will absolutely spread so after that we can save with the transparent background just as this so we save with transparent and with png after saving we are going back to sorry we go back to our chrome browser just as this so i want to redo it go back and reload it so click on open after you come to your chrome browser just click www.photopea.com so then you click open from computer from file locate where you have your mockup being saved so my mockup is here so i have to click on it then you wait for the result to show after the mockup has been opened, then we can further by editing and place our logo to be transformed in an easiest way. Okay, perfect. So the next thing we need to do is to just uh, click on layer. This is a layer, something like look like an envelope place your logo here double tap the black dot then after that close the window if you experience this hide the design on it go to the file open and place go to the file locate where you have your razor concluded uh, mark, uh, uh, logo so for instance i want to uh, bring in you see it's what i've practiced separately and i've seen the result sorry I've seen the result. So now I will position it here. Drag all the handle icon here. Then you drag out. Don't let it exceed this uh, layer. Something that looks like transparent background is what we call layer. Click on file. Click on save with smart object. Now be looking at the screen of your phone in no time. Then you see a smart object updated. Now smart object has been updated. Tap on this uh, mockup. The first layer the reason is this you know this is the first thing that was displayed here when we import the logo i mean the mock-up yes but then when we open it we have another factors that open where we will place our logo after placing the logo you don't expect the logo to transform no you click back on the 3d uh, uh, marker which is the first icon whatever the name that just tap on it twice then you'll be looking at the screen of your computer or I mean of your phone then you see the result will display in no time so as we are looking you see the result has been displayed without stress just tap on the file export and png click on png to save as a png you see download click on download download again then you open so when you open you can see the result very very awesome right so this is just a simple way or now you can make a 3D logo on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. Thanks for watching. God bless you.